Welcome to my YouTube channel, Engineering Updates. Today, we are going to discuss about hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, which is developed by DRDO. First, we will learn about what is a hypersonic missile. So basically, a hypersonic missile is called a quick reaction missile, which make it invaluable in offensive as well as defensive uses, which means either you are trying to attack a country or you are trying to defend your country. In both cases, the cybersonic missile is having a very quick reaction, right? During a defense, it can be helpful in intercepting other missiles coming into our country. It will basically help us with a ballistic missile defense capacity. Here, this is an image of the hypersonic missile which is used. What is this HSTDV? HSTDV is nothing but hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, right? It is an unmanned scramjet demonstration aircraft which will travel at a hypersonic speed. It basically uses a hypersonic air breathing scramjet technology. Here, in this scramjet engine, the air goes inside the engine at supersonic speed while it comes out at a hypersonic speed, right? This vehicle can travel at a velocity which is six times the speed of sound, that is max six. In this vehicle, the hypersonic combustion sustained after sustaining the cruise vehicle continued on its desired flight path at the velocity of max 6 for more than 20 seconds. HSTDV trial was conducted from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Lodge Complex, which is located on the coast of Odisha. Agni missile was used to carry the HSTDV to the required altitude of 30 kilometers and the HSTDV vehicle was separated from the launch vehicle. Critical events like fuel ignition as well as the auto ignition of scramjet demonstrator technology causes the maturity of our country. How does HSTDV works? So here, as we saw in the photo, HSTDV cruise vehicle is mounted on solid rocket motor, which will take it to the required altitude and once it reaches the required speed, this cruise vehicle will be ejected from the launch vehicle and the scrambled engine will ignite automatically. During the testing of this HSTDV, we monitored the multiple tracking radars, electro-optical systems and telemetry stations were helpful in analyzing its performance. Also, a ship was deployed in the Bay of Bengal to check the performance in the cruising phase of the hypersonic vehicle. The scramjet engine actually worked at very high dynamic pressure and very high temperature. What is the significance of this technology? You can see India has become the fourth country to have this technology after USA, Russia, and China. What are the technologies demonstrated? during this test. Many critical technologies were proven. Aerodynamic configuration for hypersonic maneuvers were made. Scramjet propulsion was used for ignition purpose. There was a sustained combustion, hypersonic flow, thermostructural characterization of high temperature materials was done. Separation mechanism at higher speeds, that is hypersonic speeds was also proved. What is the advantage of having this vehicle? This is an indigenously developed technology, which is developed with hypersonic speed. It can be developed as a carrier vehicle for long range cruise missiles in a different sector. And so because of its high speed, it is not detected by radars and it can penetrate most of the missile defense systems can also be useful in space sector for development of low cost, 
high energy and reusable satellites. The major challenge faced during this development of HSTDV was materials which can handle a very high temperature which is in the range of 2500 degree Celsius. If you want, if you like this video and feel it is information, please share to others. Kindly subscribe for further updates. Thank you all.